Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Glitchcraft. It's been a little while since I've uh, recorded an episode. Uh, I had a fairly crappy Thanksgiving, and I just needed something to unwind with, so I just played the game. I haven't done that much, just built, built a little bit, gathered up some stuff. You know, nothing terribly major. In the last episode, we had made the Iron Pickaxe. Right? I think. Yeah, we had cheated. We were going to make an obsidian pickaxe, uh, but we cheated, or, but we didn't have enough obsidian, so we just cheated and made an iron pickaxe. So I'm like, oh, I skipped a few levels. I thought I needed obsidian before I could get iron, but, uh, whoop, I was mistaken on that part. Uh, I was more mistaken than I even realized, um... All right, so this is how it goes. With that iguana mod that we have uh, and Tinker's Construct, well, you start with flint. So you get flint. You upgrade your flint pickaxe to copper, mining level copper. Then you get copper pickaxe, and you upgrade it to iron. This is the one that we skipped because I just melted down some iron I found. Once you get the iron, you can upgrade it to tin, which... Yeah, it was tin that I thought you had to upgrade to iron, but apparently not. Uh, but then you take the tin, you co combine it with copper, and then you make bronze. Now, a bronze pickaxe upgrades to redstone, which I have no freaking clue what you're supposed to do from here. Not a clue. No idea whatsoever. Um, I can't find any information, at least in the game anyways, on what I need to use what I need to do next to get to the next level of pickaxe, which I assume once you uh, take the redstone level pickaxe and then upgrade it, I'm assuming that is obsidian. I think. I don't know. However, there is something that the redstone level pickaxe does that uh, kind of blows it all out of the water, blows everything out of the water. And that is, it mines diamonds. And once we mine diamonds, and we get a few other little bits, specifically these little bits, we can do something absolutely crazy. Oh yeah, this is a sword I found um, while I was searching around for a village, which I still only ever found that one. Um, it's a crazy, crazy sword. I've been using it out the wazoo to kill everything, and it's has very very little damage i'm quite amazed at how powerful this sword is but it's only got plus six attack damage so it's not like op or anything anyways all right moving along uh we take this we go here that there that there and then we make a computer from computer craft we combine the computer with a chest and some iron and we make a turtle from computer craft then we make a diamond pickaxe, which as we know, this tool cannot mine anything. So it's a relatively worthless diamond pickaxe right now. But we combine that with our turtle, and we have a mining turtle. Okay, and then this bastard actually works. It can mine just about anything. Uh, I don't really have any good examples. But it can mine just about anything. So let's play with the turtle a bit. All right, so there's a few things that you have to know with the mining turtles. One, if we hit refuel, you'll see that its fuel level is zero. So we have to give the turtle fuel before it can do anything. But if we give it fuel and then we pick it up, it loses its fuel. Because you have to name your turtles. So let's uh, label set... And I've just been using a naming... Con I tend to use a naming convention. And yes, that's 003. And there's a reason for that. Uh, so we pick him up. Whee! Hey! My bronze pickaxe was just upgraded because I picked up my turtle. It now has luck. <laughs> Along with everything else that it has already. Okie dokie. Uh, let's see. Lava, 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 lava. I tend to use lava for upgrading my turtles or for fueling my turtles because it's just more efficient uh bloop coal is well it's not rare i guess i have a lot of coal 
I do. Now let's see how much coal this thing gives me, or how much fuel coal gives me. So boop, uh, refuel. Do I have to do 32? I don't know. Let's do one. And that does take one, and that's 80. So I don't know math. Hang on a second. Okay, so according to my calculator, uh, to fill up the turtle's fuel, I'd have to have 250 total chunks of coal. So I could refuel 31. Eh, well, it doesn't actually give me a hell of a lot at all. Uh, lava is significantly better to use for turtles. It just straight up is. Um, so let's just go down into the mines and go with there. I know I have, I know lava's downstairs. There's a, uh, a, a ravine in the basement. Uh, this is the basement that I've been working on. I've slightly started to organize things. And I emphasize slightly. Down here, I've got my orberry bush farm, which I'm going to have to harvest here. Yeah. Boop, boop, boop. Time to harvest the berries. Whoa. Don't step on the berry bushes. They get kind of pissy. And they hurt a lot. Well, not a lot, but come on. There we go. Still getting frame drops, and I don't know why. Just little freeze-up points that are mildly annoying. Bloop, bloop. There we go. Put you up there for now. Whee! Um, I don't... When I was first playing with the Orberry bushes, very first time, I put them in just, uh, I couldn't plant them outside. You can't plant orberry bushes outside. They have to be inside. They have to be in a cave kind of-ish. So I planted them inside, but I had the area lit up, and they never grew. They kept their little baby bush forms. I'm like, okay, that's interesting. They, How do you make these things grow? And then I figured out that if they're in the dark, they grow. So I put down these stone slabs, which prevents mobs from spawning. In the, so this place can stay dark, relatively speaking anyways. And uh, these things can grow without problem then. So it, it works um, for me anyways. I don't know if that's supposed to be that way. Or that's just correlation that's not, you know, that I'm just making up out of my head. I don't know. All right, moving along. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Okay. So I know in here, if I go across here, we have lava pit and mobs. Well, that's not a problem. All right. Woo. Come on. There we go. Ugh. Ah. All right. Whew. Uh, don't care about you. Actually, that's probably a useful thing. Don't really know. All right, so buckets, lava. Make sure that I there are no mobs around. Uh, refuel. Four. And that gives me 6,000. 6,000? We had 2,000, so we are up by 4. So we get uh, 1,000 per, which is nice. Boop. No. Yep. Hang on. There we go. And uh, I don't remember the exact code. I wrote it once before, but I can actually teach this thing to refuel itself with lava buckets. Back, back in the day, before there was a limit, uh, there's a limit of 20,000 now. But back in the day, before there was a limit, which I could actually probably turn off in the settings, I had a program that I set up that it would that I could use in the nether. So it would go off, you know, and just float down a pool of lava, a lake of lava, I guess, in the nether. And there we go, fuel limit reach. So you can only get up to 20,000 fuel. That lava is going to be useful later. Come on. Yeah. 
Come on. Boop. And a boop. All right. Useful for uh, Tinker's construct. But I would use, I would uh, send it out over a lake of lava, and it would use the bucket to refuel itself. So as it went out, it would suck up the lava below it and refuel itself with the bucket. Fairly useful. Plop. This is why it's called Chrono 003, is because I kind of already have two of them going at once. Uh, we got a steel sword. Alrighty. A bow, an arrow, bone, rotten flesh. Nothing interesting yet. Don't see any more diamonds. But it's off, off excavating, so it's doing its thing. Uh, Ooh, slime. I found a slime chunk, apparently. These are useful for something. Slime balls? Not sure. Don't remember. Let's have some quick fun. So let's kick that off. Sit our turtle there. And excavate. Uh, let's do a tiny one. Let's do ten. And then the turtle will go off and mine for us. That's pretty much it. It just goes off and mines for us. Uh, once it's full, it comes back and it dumps things into... Well, it dumps things behind where it started. So, because it started with a chest behind it, it will dump things into the chest. But if it didn't have a chest behind it, if you if I like took the chest away, it would just chuck things out the back. Which is fairly interesting. But it will keep going until it can't go any farther. Once it hits bedrock, it will turn around, come back, and park itself back where it started. So right there. And it's really nice. And it's a really easy way to get a whole crap ton of stuff. Which is why I have two chests and a hopper there. Is because I guaranteed just that, that one that's mining plop, this area right here. Guaranteed. Uh, it will fill both of che both chests because cobblestone takes up a lot, a lot, a lot of space. Did it hit itself with an arrow? Ow. I can't get out. I can't get out. Boop. All right, moving along. So, yeah, so that thing's off doing its thing. And it will gather diamonds and, you know, we'll get all kinds of crazy stuff from it. But the fun thing is it can also gather up obsidian. So if you saw I had the water down there, if it hits a pool of lava, that water will turn the lava into obsidian. The turtle will pick up the obsidian. Whoop, nighttime. Oh, shit, that was a creeper. Crap. Crap. I may not rest now. Monsters are nearby. Shit, I'm kind of screwed, aren't I? Hmm. This is a problem. I guarantee he's hiding, like, right there. Yep. Come on. Just want to get away. <laughs> I don't want to blow up my house. Granted, I could just rebuild it, but I don't want to blow up my house. Um, hmm, do I have a bed? I do have a bed. So let's just sleep outside tonight. Not worry about that creeper that's in my house. Until I go back inside the house, completely forgetting that the creeper's here and die. All right, anyways. Uh, so, yeah. Bloop. It will gather up obsidian. So I have an ass load obsidian. So I can go to the obsidian level. I can make an obsidian pickaxe, but I have no I, I I have no idea what. Hang on. I don't know. I'm I'm very lost. I know you need obsidian to get obsidian, and I have no idea what pickaxe you need to upgrade to obsidian. But we can make obsidian. And let's let's I guess do that. I don't know. Does that count as one one of these blocks? I have no idea. I honestly don't know. Uh, so I need binding, pickaxe head, and a 
tool rod. That's going to take forever to melt. But there's also something else that I found in here while I was poking around that I thought was fairly interesting. And that's these guys, these Paxels. All right. So they're just a combination of an axe, a pickaxe, and a shovel, all in one. And this will, or yeah, the sh the tools that make it up can't be used for mining anything, but the Paxel itself can. Now, you, if you get a bronze Paxel, it, you see how it says mining level obsidian? So I could mine obsidian with that guy. What are you? Glowstone Paxel is 10. Steel Paxel is obsidian. Osmium Paxel is obsidian. Lapis is 10. Obsidian pa Paxel is obsidian. Uh, gold is stone. Diamond is obsidian. Bloop. So I can make obsidian stuff. So once that melts down, let's make... I'm, I'm curious what the next level is. So if I mine, if I make an obsidian pickaxe and upgrade it, what is the next level? Like, I know there is a next level because in the previous world when I was, you know, the one that I didn't record, I had an obsidian pickaxe because the trick I used before where I found the obsidian parts and turned them into a pickaxe worked because I had enough obsidian parts. Come on, melt for me. There it goes. Okay, so now we have molten obsidian, and it's six ingots worth. I took three blocks, turned it into six ingots. But doesn't it take six ingots to make a... or nine ingots to make a block? I guess obsidian is different. Whatever. All right, so bloop, 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 bloop. Yeah, that's just the easy way to do it, is just make the entire thing out of obsidian, because, you know, who gives a crap? This is mostly for testing purposes anyway, so I'm not really paying attention to you know, what go or what goes where or anything like that. So now we have an obsidian pickaxe, which mining level obsidian. And I need 521 XP, mining XP, to upgrade that pickaxe. Uh, this is going to take a long freaking time. And I'm going to have to come back up here to... I just realized that I forgot that there was a creeper in here, but apparently it's not in here anymore. All right, creeper disappeared. I have every intention of putting a roof on there. I'm just waiting to go to the nether to do that, and I was waiting for this episode to go to the nether. Plop. Oh, these guys are going at it, aren't they? All right, so those two gave me two XP. Hi, Enderman. Iron gives me two XP total. Uh, what are you? You are gem, harvest level iron, which I would assume gives me two more. Oh, that gave me one. E. Hmm, what are you? You are a thing that actually needs obsidian level. So that gives me two. Okay, this may take a little while, and I'm probably going to have to go back up and level it up. Ooh, diamond. Let's see. Uh, that went up to 15, so diamond is the way to go, apparently. Yeesh. That's 17, so yeah, iron level stuff. Uh, osmium probably gives me, you know, one or two. 19... Hmm. All right, so I will go off and do this real quick. 
and I will hop back here when this thing is uh, upgraded so we can figure out what the next level is. So there we have it. We have our obsidian pickaxe, whose mining level is now Ardite. Which, if I remember correctly, Ardite is an ore in the nether. So we definitely have to go to the nether, which is always fun, to say the least. <laughs> Because you put all this work into something, you build and build and build. Wait, Ardite, Ardite. Wait, is Ardite? Hang on. What are you? A R D I T E, D I T E. Ardite, Ardite, Ardite. I'm not seeing Ardite. Oh, well, there's Ardite Brick, Tinker's Construct. Um, come on. There we go. Ardite Ingots. So let's take a look. Ardite Ore. Okay, that's definitely another brick or a uh, nether kind of thing. So, yeah, I don't think it's... Yeah, it's not anything we can... Uh, combined to make, so we do have to go to the nether to do it. What was I thinking of? Not Ardite. It was something else. I have it in here. It was not aluminum. Alumite. Yes, it's a combination of like copper, aluminum, and obsidian that you can make. Uh, stumbled upon it by accident, but it appears not to be... Uh, yeah, high, high high enough level to do things. So, uh, let's see, lead, copper, just putting everything away. Limestone, granite, cobblestone. And then we'll go make an. Yeah, whatever. Anyways, uh, I don't know where, if anywhere, I want to put this thing. I don't think I want to put it anywhere, honestly. Let's put it out of the way, way over here. And we'll put you right here. So. Boop. Boop. Tree. Boop. 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 No, not there. 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 Now we have an obs... Or a... Yeah. Now we have a uh, nether portal. I don't have a flint and steel, do I? I do not. So let's go get a flint and steel. Shouldn't be terribly difficult. We have iron. Iron. And flint. I thought I heard a zombie. Hmm. Whatever. Flint and steel. Now, what I like to do is empty out my inventory completely. Just get everything out of my inventory with the general idea oop, I found these things. They do a thing. Ignis Discount 1 Paradito Discount 1 They're for Thomcraft. No idea what they do, but I have space for them, so why the hell not? Anyways, so what I like to do is go through the nether, go into the nether for the first time naked. That way, if I die, I don't lose anything. Because God only knows what's ever on the other side of the nether portal. You could appear directly above a giant lava ocean. Uh, there's bees over there. Ow! There's also fucking bats. Bastard bats. That came with me. What the hell? Wait. What the shit is this? <laughs> what is this? I have no idea what this is. It's a thing. Wow. Um. Okay. So. Um. Interesting. 
<laughs> I, uh, uh, I'm at a loss for words. Apparently somebody has been on my server, which is completely unknown to me. I did not know anybody was on the server. No clue. Not a clue that anybody was actually on this server. Um, I had no idea. That build... That looks like Zog. I'm gonna go with that. I didn't know anybody actually got on this server. Um, okay, so we're gonna have another portal issue. And I think I'm heading in the direction of home. I may die before I get there because I don't have any food because I went into the nether naked. Uh, all right. So that caught me completely off guard. I don't want to go f futzing around in his stuff. It's not nice. But uh, that building was nice. Where he placed it was a good idea. That gets you, you know, lava for fuel. Come on, lag. Annoying as crap. Oh, all right. So that was um, interesting. So now we know where the nether puts us out. Hi, Creeper. Bye, Creeper. Uh, now I also learned that somebody actually does play on this server. Had no idea. Never once was on the server while anybody else was on the server. I wonder if that means other people are on this server and I'm just by sheer coincidence, not. Yeah, that's my space. All right. Um, yeah, just by sheer coincidence, I'm not on at the same time that they are. But holy shit, didn't... No idea that there was anybody else actually on this server. Uh, if somebody had found my spot, my, my house, they could really have screwed with my head. Uh, hey, I'm Steve. I just realized that. My arm was the regular arm. I'm Steve. Huh. All right. Apparently, that's a little glitch at the moment. Give me some food real quick. All right. So, uh, we had... I had some fun anyways. I don't know if you guys did. Let me know if you did or didn't or whatever. I guess I don't... I don't know. I'm still kind of blown away that there was actually somebody on my server uh but okay so we know that the nether is relatively safe to go into um we might have to do something about where the portal is like we'll have to enclose it in something so it's relatively safe but other than that we know that the nether portal is safe it just puts us out somewhere else which is interesting uh, yeah, so I'm going to end up the episode here just because, you know, I'm rambling on and I'm completely lost. My brain is fried at this point. Yeah. I only had like one left in there. No, I had two left in there. Figure I'll fix my, uh, pickaxe. My obsidian pickaxe here. Bloop, bloop. And do I still have? Yes, I do still have. Put some moss on my obsidian pickaxe. That way I don't have to worry about fixing it again. Again, no idea what the bobbles are for yet. Haven't gotten into Thomcraft yet. Still trying to get a, a Tinker's Construct ready to go so I can actually... So I don't have to worry about mining crap. So I have everything I need. I have most everything I need, I'm sure. I mean, I have a lot of stuff now. So I could probably just go ape shit and start exploring everything else, which I intend to. Um, the uh, ore berry bushes underground that I have. Boop. I want to put some autonomous activators. You know, down here. I want to put some autonomous activators so I don't have to worry about doing all this stuff manually. I can just let it do its thing. Uh, but found out in the last world that autonomous activators require power now. So that's new. Wee, ow, ow. Yeah, so, uh, uh, lag is driving me bonkers. I wonder if whoever else is actually on the server has the same problem as I do. 
Uh, but the lag is driving me nuts. Hmm. Anyways, so I'm going to end the episode here. And I'm going to say to you guys, as always, keep playing the game. Bloop. And have fun. <laughs>